Everything we produce at Osprey is to serve the fundamental needs of the law firms we look after. Driving of new and or incremental revenue, reductions in admin and improved business efficiencies, which should, in theory, provide more opportunities for billable time, enhanced client care and experience, compliance, i.e. GDPR, SRA, Lexcel. We're going to cover two really useful features of Osprey this morning, the global search, which helps you find anything within Osprey within a couple of clicks, and the key dates, which help you to stay organized and on top of your matters. We'll start by finding a matter using the global search, which is like Google for Osprey. The global search functionality needs to be enabled on your account. Just check in with a supervisor user who will be able to amend your access template or contact Osprey support if you'd like some assistance with this. The global search is a search engine within Osprey and it can be found at the top of all pages. It has extensive capabilities which allow users to locate not just clients and matters, but documents as well. The global search enables document scanning for all optical character recognition, word documents, emails, PDFs and spreadsheets. Another feature of the global search is that wildcards are not necessary. We can simply type in the term that we are searching for. Therefore, you should be able to find the precise information that you are looking for with even fewer clicks. We're going to search for a client with the surname Wood. The search results will then be displayed on this page. Each user has the ability to personalise how their search results are displayed. You will be able to expose the information which is of most importance to you and your job role. For example, you may wish to display the client's email, work in progress, office or client balances. Click on this icon here and the user can customise exactly which columns they wish to appear. There is also a filter row above each column. I'm going to filter my results and look for Fiona Alex S. These search results are a springboard into different areas of the application, negating the need to navigate through multiple pages. For example, clicking on the client number or the client name will take you directly to the client information page. Clicking on the matter number or matter description will take us directly to the matter details page. Clicking on the whip balance would take the user directly through to the time ledger and clicking on the office balance would take the user to the client ledger. Right clicking on any search result offers three additional options. We can either be taken straight to the matter history page, through to document production, or through to the dossier page for the selected client. Therefore, with the global search, we can simply type in one search term and we have access to all of this information and can navigate to multiple different areas of Osprey in just a few clicks. We are now going to take a look at the key dates area of Osprey. The key dates area will flag up critical dates and can also be used as a form of diary. Therefore, setting key dates on Osprey allows users to keep on top of their workload and ensure that nothing gets overlooked. Key dates can be transferred between users, which is particularly useful for when colleagues are absent or when a locum is taking over a case. This is much more centralised than using an Outlook calendar. Key dates can be set for reminders, tasks or appointments such as court appearances and meetings, which allows for more operational efficiencies. Multiple key dates can also be set against a single matter. These dates can be set for events during the course of a matter, and archived matters can also have key dates assigned to them. Key dates may be added for yourself, or alternatively, they can be added on behalf of other users. 
We'll now take a look at the area of Osprey in which users can view their key dates. Scroll to the bottom of the Osprey homepage and you'll be able to see the Your Key Dates area. You'll notice that these key dates are colour coded. The red key dates will be dates in the past, the amber key dates will be for today's date, and green key dates will be dates in the future. If users hover over a key date, some of the client's basic information will be displayed, such as their phone number and email address, which is a really handy way of accessing the information you need without even having to click a button. If I right click on a key date and click select, I'll be taken through to a list of all the key dates for that particular matter. Another way of navigating to this page is to click on the key dates tab within case management. You'll see that there is the same color coding in the list of key dates. The user can filter through the list of key dates and decide whether they want to view all, met, or unmet key dates. The user can also export this list of key dates to Excel if necessary. We are now going to add a key date manually. We can either click on add key date in the left hand menu or click on the add button on the main page. The client and matter number will auto populate and today's date will fill this field. This can be overtyped or the user can select the relevant date from the calendar. The user then needs to select the relevant key date type, and these can be customized within the supervisor area of Osprey. Once the key date type is selected, if there is a default note, it will appear here. Again, this can be overtyped. The FIANA assigned to the matter will automatically appear here, but again, the user can select the relevant fee earner from the drop down menu. The user also has the option to multi select fee earners. The user can create diary appointments, which may integrate directly with your Outlook calendar if required. Ticking this box will publish the key date to your web portal. For further information on the web portal, watch our previous webinar. Now that we have created the new key date, it appears in our list. The key date will also appear in the Your Key Dates area of the Osprey homepage. If we wish to edit the key date, then we can click on the pencil icon. We can then amend any of these details other than the client and the matter number. Once a key date has been met, the user can edit the key date and tick the option to say that the date has been met. Users also have access to the key date summary, which can be an excellent management tool. There are many business cases for using the key date summary. For example, by using the filtering options, we can view any unmet key dates for a particular fee earner. We could also use the key date summary to view all of the key dates that are upcoming within a particular time period. Therefore, the key dates area of Osprey is an excellent and efficient way of managing milestones of a matter in a centralized way. If you would like to learn more about anything covered in today's webinar, please contact our support team. Either visit our new Practice Help Centre, which features the Osprey Academy, where you can find guides and help videos to make the most out of Osprey, or contact support through the usual channels.